In some cases, when you're making an app, you might need to show lots of stuff in a list, like a bunch of contacts or restaurant addresses. But without a special features like pagination or lazy loading, it can be tough to handle. Imagine trying to scroll through a huge list just to get to the middle or the end. It takes forever. That's where the scroll bar comes in handy. It's like a magic tool that lets you zip around your list super quick. And guess what? It's really easy to use. Stick around till the end of this video and I'll show you exactly how to add it to your app. Alright, let's dive into it. So as you can see, I've set up a basic app with an app bar. And at the bottom, there is a custom bottom navigation bar with a text proceed to pay and a simple button. And in the body, list view containing some items with images, title and subtitle. Now if you take a look, our list view is functioning smoothly. However, navigating to the end of the list while scrolling can be quite challenging. This is where the scrollable widget comes into play. Let's incorporate this widget into our list view and witness how it effortlessly streamlines our navigation process. Okay, and now now all you have to do is wrap the list view in a scroll bar widget and this will add a scroll bar to your lists. That was pretty easy, however, this basic implementation only gives us a scroll bar that is visible while scrolling. If we want it to be always visible, then simply set the thumb visibility argument to true. This nifty feature guarantees that your scroll bar thumbs remain visible at all times, even when you are not actively scrolling. It's perfect for keeping your interface sleek and user friendly. And another parameter that makes it handy is the interactive parameter. Set it to true to make your scroll bar always responsive. This means it will react to both dragging on the thumb and tapping anywhere in the track area. Beside these, there are other settings you can play with to customize your preferences. For example, there is a thickness. By adjusting its value, you can make the scroll bar thicker or thinner. Then there is a track visibility, which is determined if the scroll bar track should be shown or not. And here is something cool. The scroll bar thumb is just automatically based on your list view content. If you have fewer items, the thumb will be larger. And if you have more items, it will adjust accordingly to fit. And done. Another tutorial is finished. If you have enjoyed diving into the world of Flutter with me, why not show some love with a thumbs up? Don't keep all this goodness to yourself. Share it with your Flutter squad and hit that subscribe button for a steady stream of awesome content. Until our next adventure, keep the interest alive, farewell, and happy coding. Bye.